Um, next public witness, Lynn Amano, uh, Director of Advocacy with Friendship Place. Thank you, Chairperson White, uh, for allowing me to testify today. I'm Lynn Amano, the Director of Advocacy for Friendship Place. Friendship Place is a premier provider of housing and services for those experiencing homelessness in greater DC, serving 4,400 clients last year. We appreciate our collaborative relationship with NDCHA's willingness and consistency in meeting monthly with us and other providers for the past three years. We realize the difficulties that DCHA has faced this past year and its efforts in meeting the guidelines and requests laid out by HUD. Medicaid processing leadership changes, including the new board of directors, relocation, staffing challenges, and caseworker shortages for both government and providers have all played a role in our ability to provide housing. We must tackle these challenges together, but we are still failing those experiencing homelessness. We all agree that the match to lease up process has been taking way too long. Thousands of individuals remain homeless while 3,000 funded vouchers go unused. Approvals of completed applications take 45 days. Landlord packet processing, rent reasonable determinations and inspections take an additional 46 days on average, even when we remove those who have not yet, le not yet leased up from the average. Friendship Place has clients who have been awaiting housing for over a year. This impacts not only those currently experiencing homelessness, but those that will experience homelessness in FY24 and FY25 and beyond, as it has resulted in very few vouchers for those who are more recently homeless. DCHA is undergoing massive changes in policy and approach to a wide scope of areas, including the repair and improvement of our public housing stock. Outsourcing elements of PSH voucher processing, including eligibility determinations, landlord packet processing, rent reasonableness determinations, inspections, and landlord payments could allow DCHA to catch up in these other areas. Outsourcing inspections to providers was already road tested during the CARES project to speed up placements from encampment clearings. Trained providers or a third party could perform parts of PSH work in the same way that Greater Washington Urban League handles FRSP. Our families are moving into rapid housing much more quickly. Challenges with instituting so much change have also resulted in communication and clarity difficulties for our caseworkers and clients. In some cases, we are not getting responses back from housing specialists, even when supervisors have become involved. Changes in protocols or policies that lack clarity and efficiency cause housing delays as DCHA sorts its own way through these difficult processes. When multiple units do not work out, Due to slow processing or rent reasonableness determinations, our clients become even more disillusioned with a process that depends on building trust. We continue to advocate for a multiple access housing voucher portal for caseworkers, clients, DHS, DCHA, and landlords to address communication and transparency issues. Each access point could have visibility limited to its own data set and communications. Clients could approve caseworker assistance to expedite the process, and the portal could show both voucher status and points of contact. Changes could all be updated automatically, so caseworkers, DHS, and DCH, DCHA could communicate more easily. Landlords could incorporate the central unit repository. DCHA could include spreadsheets of approved rent reasonable apartments, so our clients' hopes are not dashed when their unit of choice doesn't pass. Banks and universities operate these kinds of systems, and we believe our housing community could too. We could use money freed up from the delay in voucher use to improve and expedite this process. Please take these opportunities into consideration as you evaluate the performance of DCHA moving forward. Thank you for allowing us to testify. Uh, thank you very much for being with us.